reminiscing today and using the all-time, old-time goodies and all that stuff. And to me, we have a culture surpassed by, 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 by no other civilization, but we don't know anything about it. I think you can always write something with that the people will understand. Thank God that they gave me the energy to carry out the role. I was just playing a part for humanity. I'm still playing a part for humanity. That's my role. All right, this is T.I.'s third release, Urban Legend. It was released in 2004. And the reason why I chose this particular album is because it, it it struck a chord for me as a, you know, as an adolescent, you know, beginning to come into youth and understanding how important it is to, you know, establish hunger and perseverance. And this particular album and heart, artwork, you can, you know, you can clearly see, to me, I see someone who is is very hungry, very eager to prove himself. It just, it just, it just, it just means a lot to me. It takes me back to a place to where, you know, an artist had to, you know, put their own, put their groundwork in as far as, you know, street teams and working with certain labels. I mean, specifically, I remember him working with LaFace early on, you know, and, you know, being, being dropped from the label and, you know, getting a deal with Atlantic and, you know, being in a place where he is now, you know, it just more or less, capture a nostalgic place, you know, a nostalgic period of time. So that is why I chose this particular project. What are popular songs on this project? Oh God, I remember when Bring Em Out came out, Lord G. That was, that was, that was the song or the anthem of the year, you know, produced by Swiss Beats. That was a crazy, that was a crazy record with, you know, a Jay-Z sample, uh, which was, you know, which is very hard to come by. You know, I remember, you know, Cassidy getting, you know, the I'm a hustler, uh, I'm a hustler sample. But you know, other than that, you know, a Jay Z sample was very hard to come by. But at the same time, you know, when you got the Jay Z sample, the Jay Z clearance, that was almost, you know, recognition and or validation that you know you were headed in the right place as an artist. ASAP, ASAP was another popular song, at least in the South. Particularly the Atlanta area and or Metro Atlanta area, you know, ASAP was you know, a very big banger. And it struck a chord with me as well as you know classmates and or teammates. The the song that I would choose as you know a popular B list song that you know struck a chord with me is I'm the greatest. Me personally, I love it when you know artists get the ability to you know talk their shit so to speak. You know. You know, more or less brag or boast, and you know, this was Ti's opportunity to present himself as a lyricist as well as, you know, just an artist capable of, you know, com you know, competing and putting yourself up there with the greats. So, you know, Ti's release, 2004, Urban Legend is definitely worthy of being on soundtrack of my life. There has been a lot of recent dispute about, you know, where he stands as far as his place amongst the greats and you know I want to do my part to put some respect on his name <laughs> and and you know just reminding the world of you know where he where he started to where he is now you know it's, it's a lot of rappers can't say that they have a legit 20 years of relevance in music let alone in hip-hop and or you know with the perseverance and some of the trials and tribulations that he endured uh, to be at the place that he is now i think you know his work his work now and his work that he did in the past is worthy of being in, being on soundtrack of my life and urban legend in particular is one that sticks out to me so, ladies and gentlemen boys and girls mammals and cats dogs chickens ducks and all that in between yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey,